In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create an author name using ChatGPT. Now, quick plug before I get into the video, if you click that link down in the description below, it will bring you to this page. On this page, you can check out my free newsletter, our low content book publishing course, and also our free course. If you click on either one of these, it will take you to that page. Now, coming up with an author name slash pen name, or even a brand name, is something that used to take me quite some time. It would take me anywhere from a couple of hours to half a day or even maybe a whole day. Again, this actually used to take me quite some time to come up with a name that I wanted for my brand. Now, the way that I used to go about this was coming over to Google and type in unique girl names. Then I'd go through this website, I'd go through all the other websites, I'd pull it up and start looking at all of the unusual or unique names on the website. So I would do this for girl names. I would also do this for unique boy names. So again, if you came over to Google and typed in unique boy names, you could go through all of the pages, pulling them up, going through and checking out all of these different names. So I would do that and then I'd go through and start looking at unusual last names. So here's a website with a hundred cool last names or unique last names for your characters. And then I'd start combining them together to try and come up with a name that sounded good. Now, a good rule of thumb to live by when you're coming up with an author name or a brand name is to keep it short and memorable. You want something that's easy for people to remember. So just keep that in mind as well. But I'd go through looking at girls names, boys names, I'd look at unusual last names. I'd also, so here's the actual unusual last names. So I'd go through this. I'd also go back to Google and start typing in words related to colouring. So that's if I was going to create a colouring book brand. If this was going to be a math book brand or a kids learning brand, then I'd look at words related to that niche. Then again, I'd actually combine them all together by going through all of these different words, putting them down in a notepad. So I'd put all the names that I like, all the girl names, all the boy names, all the last names, and all the words related to the niche that I was trying to create a brand name around. And then I'd spend a good amount of time putting them together, combining them, and just trying to come up with a really unique, memorable pen name. But now, with the use of ChatGPT, you can do all of this and within a fraction of the time. So let me share with you how I've been doing this using ChatGPT. Now, first of all, what I actually typed in, well, let me backtrack. I've gone ahead and put in the prompts already just to save time. And now I'm going to go through and show you exactly what I did. So first of all, I typed in, can you give me a list of 20 unique girl names? Now, this can be boy names as well. If you want to go even deeper into this, you could do 10 names that begin with T or 10 names that begin with F or C. So there is no set rule on what I'm about to share with you. It just comes down to playing with the software and seeing what you can get. But for this instance, I put, can you give me a list of 20 unique girl names, 20 unusual last names, and 20 words related to coloring? Now, what that did, the AI gave me a bunch of girl names just here. It also gave me a bunch of unusual last names, as we can see, and then it gave me a bunch of words related to colouring. So again, this just saves so much time if you're trying to come up with ideas for your author name. Now, you can use this for brainstorming, or you can actually use it to come up with the name if it generates one that you really like. But now that I've got this 
three lists of names, last names, and words related to colouring, I then asked it, if we go to here, can you give me a list of 20 pen slash author names, ideas using the names from the unique girls' names, and combine them together with the unusual last names? And now we have a bunch of ideas that we can look further into. Now, one thing I want to note really quick, and that is don't just take one of these names and start creating your author name or your brand around that, because there's still a couple of things that you need to do. And I'm going to share that with you later on in the video. But look, we now have 20 ideas that we could potentially create our brand or our pen name, our author name around. And they are pretty unique. Now, some of these aren't going to be good. What you could do, if you like the look of the first name and you like the look of a different last name, you can just combine them together that way. Again, this is just a great way to brainstorm ideas and save so much time. So let's take a little look at these and see if any stand out. Imogen Jaeger, that's very unique. Rowan Sterling, that's pretty unique as well, and I kind of like that one. Now, again, there are a couple of things that you need to do, and I'm going to get to that in a minute once I've gone through all of this here on ChatGPT. Now, what I also did was, can you give me a list of 20 pen names slash author name ideas using the names from the unique girls' names and combine them together with the list of words related to colouring. That's why I asked for three lists. We have the list of first names, list of second names, and then a list of words related to colouring. Because this way you can ask ChatGPT com to combine the last names and the first names, or the colouring book keywords with the first names as well. So let's have a little look at this. So we have Aurora Hue, Briella Shade. So that's a pretty good name. I quite like that one. Shading because of colouring. So that is pretty cool. I like that. Then we have Felicity Tones. Pretty unique as well. Harper Palette, Jaden Dye and Quinn Outline. They're the ones who actually stand out to me. So now I could dive deeper into those pen names to actually see if they're available. But I just want to go through a little bit more of this because there's so much that you can do. Don't just take what I shared in this video, come through, play around with it because you can get some pretty good results. Just remember the more specific you are at answering questions, the better results that you're going to get. So for this one, I actually asked for, can you give me a list of 20 old-fashioned girls' names. Now, again, it doesn't have to be girls' names. It could be boy names. So it could be a 20 old-fashioned boy names. And then I asked 20 old-fashioned last names and 20 words related to puzzle books. Now, again, depending on what type of niche that you're going into, you could ask it for words related to journals, word searches, math books. Again, this is just a great way to brainstorm ideas to get your creative juices flowing. Or you could actually just use one of the names that it actually generates. But nonetheless, it gave me a bunch of old-fashioned girl names just here. Then it gave me the list of old-fashioned last names as well. And then also words related to puzzle books. Then I asked it, can you give me a list of 20 pen names, ideas using the names from the old-fashioned girls' names and combine them together with the old-fashioned last names. So we have a bunch of ideas here. Amelia Barlow. I quite like that one. That sounds good. Ophelia. Ophelia Park. I quite like that, but Ophelia, quite hard to remember. I'm not sure many people would actually know how to spell that. Then Penelope Quill. So again, this is just a great way to come up with ideas for your pen names. Then I asked the same, but changed the words to related to puzzles. So now we have the old fashioned first names related with puzzles. Again, there's so many great ways that you can use this tool to actually come up with pen names for your books. Now let's go back up to here because now I'm going to share with you what you should do 
if you want to use one of these names. So let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's take the Jaden Die or Quinn Outline Briella Shade. I quite like that one. So let's take this. We're going to copy. And now what you want to do is come over to here. Now this is a social URL checker. If you come over to Google and then type in social URL checker, you want to go to this first website just here. That's going to bring you to here. Now what this does, and it's very important to do, is going to tell you if all of the social media is available for that name and also if the .com is. Now this is very important if you plan on building out a brand for your books because if you build out a brand you're going to want the .com of your name, you're also going to want the Facebook and also maybe Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter depending on your strategy. So from here if we go like this and type in that Briella Shade and then click enter is going to tell us if this is available. Now, right off the bat, the Facebook is not available, but the .com is. The Twitter's also available. The Pinterest is available. The YouTube is available as well. So remember, ideally, you want all of this available, especially the Facebook and the .com, maybe the Twitter, also the Pinterest. But the point is, you just want to make sure that the social media handles are available so you can keep your name across the board. So again, this is very important if you plan on building out a brand. Now, another thing that you also want to do is come over to Amazon and then type in your pen name, your brand name idea here. Let's just go to all. So let's plug that in there, click enter, because you just want to make sure that no one else has that name. So if you type in your idea, your pen name idea just here, go through the first page, we can see that, that there's no books with that pen name, which is also telling me that no one else has that pen name. So again, this is just going to make sure that your pen name is unique and that no one else has it. So again, if you want to use AI to come up with pen names, or if you just want to come up with a pen name by yourself, always remember to check to make sure that all the social media handles are available and just check to make sure that no one else has that pen name here on Amazon. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And for more AI-related videos, click right here and watch this playlist.